All right, so this week you guys get Isaac back on the D line. What's it? What's it been like? A couple days of practice now. Obviously, suspension lifted. Just him back in there, knowing that he's back. Oh, it's a relief. You know, we don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, now we can just go back to focusing on Colorado. Specifically with Colorado, you guys have gone against so many spread attacks, and now it's finally. It seems like it'll be a couple weeks in a row of that pro style offense. What? What's the biggest, uh, how much of an adjustment is that for you guys to, especially on the D-line and up front, to go against all these spread offenses and now have to basically 180 and go against the pro style? Um, it's not very much adjustment. Um, slowly, weekly, we've been uh, we've been practicing that kind of defense, and now that the week has come, we feel pretty prepared about it. Is it kind of nice, though, that from a player's standpoint, how, I mean, I know you guys don't have any control over the schedule, but... The way that the schedule worked out, where you played so many teams in a row that were spread offenses, and now you play a bunch of teams that are going to be pro styles, does it help you guys from a from a game plan standpoint? Or uh, I don't, I don't think it really affected us that much. I mean, we just went out and played the way we we're supposed to, and each week it just come out and prepare to whatever they have ready to have going for us. Uh, a little bit off topic, but do you have a Twitter? I do. Do you tweet a lot? Not really. No? No. Because I was going to ask about Mike Leach the, at Washington State just banned his players today from using Twitter. Chip was talking about that and was basically saying, <laughs> can't trust him to tweet, that he, how you can trust him on third down. <laughs> what would you think if, if, uh, if, a, if a coach told you that you couldn't use Twitter? Um, I'd be okay with it personally. Um, I know some players would probably throw a fit about it, but I mean... Obviously, the coaching staff trusts us. If they see something wrong, they'll let us know and make sure we fix it and don't let it happen next time. And so that's a good thing about our coaching staff. Uh, they have trust in us, and they feel like we'll be doing the right thing no matter what. Thanks, Ricky. No problem.